Hi guys, so today I did bring my camera equipment, but today is all about macro photography. And I, the reason for this is because I recently discovered a video, I'm gonna link it below, from a guy that does macro photography, mostly of insects. And I just found it super fascinating. And he 3D prints uh, like the lens, hold a plastic part, and then he buys from AliExpress a uh, 4x zoom lens and then because of the length of the adapter or whatever you can call it lens plastic you 3d print it becomes a 2x magnification but you can basically print any housing to make it anything but that won't be ready until the end of April and uh, I'm not that patient so I discovered that my phone that I'm holding there uh, has the ability to do very good macro photography so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some photos with this phone, go around, see if I can find some interesting stuff and then uh, yeah, take pictures and you know try that out a bit just for fun. So I have my camera with me in case I want to do some normal photography, but I'm going to try and leave it in the pack or in the backpack. The focus of this is going to be with the phone. Phone photography today. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is what I have. Uh, I have also brought my, I'm gonna sit down my backpack, I have my GoPro with me. I'm gonna put it on this mount that I borrowed from my wife, thank you. And I'm gonna try and see if I can film myself for the B-rolls and uh, normal everything here with that camera. Because I'm gonna be using this one for uh, the rest of the video. Let's see how it goes. I wanted to explain you guys a bit about the technology I'm using. So this is my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And when you do a normal picture, no, not raw, when you get close enough, it goes to this focus mode. So I don't know if I can show you guys. But if I move my hand closer here, you should probably see that it will start to focus on my hand pretty good. And you can get pretty close. So that's one way I'm going to try. The other one is the Pro Video Ultra Wide. This autofocus can also get pretty close. Um, I don't know if it did it there, if I left it long enough, but uh, trust me on this one. <laughs> uh, but it, it's not really built for the macro feature. But the uh, normal is, but uh, in the pro vid, uh, pro uh, oh that was pro video lol fuck you. Camera raw, ultra wide. There we go. It's a bit different. But uh, yeah, the shadows and stuff uh, is not so good in this, and I don't know if you can actually use the blitz. So I'm gonna try both settings and see what we can get. Who knows?
I uh, I couldn't resist. I'm standing here in this fucking forest, right? It's a walking path. Birds are everywhere, and uh, right here, behind me, I saw from the main road is out there. I saw a squirrel, fucking running around and out here. Uh, so much activity anyway I didn't take my you know I was too focused so I, I had to get my backpack out so I didn't film any of it and then now I was just standing landed uh, wait. yeah so this place behind me here fucking gold mine birds keep landing <laughs> I, I'm too distracted to take any photos uh, I want to try and film them but uh, it's too far away for the camera the setting I have right. I need to tail tail zoom perhaps anyway I've uh, taken a screenshot on my phone of Google Maps where I am uh, yeah I'm coming back to here to take some pictures. Maybe if I can get into that small park because fucking squirrels are running around and uh, these nice birds. And from the last video, if you remember, I mentioned one other place that this ice bird is. That's here. Only two sightings only. But uh, two sightings have been in the last uh, couple months. It's not a lot, but this bird is fucking rare. So just the fact that it is here. So maybe if I one day can come out here like super early, then I might be able to see some uh, wildlife. And to be honest, uh, I might actually sneak in there, set up a, a some sort of nighttime camera at some point. Anyway, that's not, that's not what this video was about. This was about macro. I just wanted to talk about this because that's very cool. So I'm gonna see if I can catch that squirrel again, and then I'll get back to you guys. So, the macro photography in this camera is actually quite nice, but uh, something is uh, turning on in my brain here, an idea to maybe do some videos like uh, insect life or forest life or something, you know, get low to the ground, uh, see things moving around, like some sort of relaxing nature video with nature sounds and uh, some nice clips. At least I'm enjoying just filming the fucking things out here. Uh, yeah, that could be an idea. I think this phone can do some really great photos. Uh, I'm not really doubting that part. So far the verdict for the macro photography on this phone, I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up because that's really amazing. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the cinematography part of it is actually a bit surprising to me. I might actually start doing something like that on this channel, some nature uh, relaxing videos. I don't know how it's gonna go with that, but I want to try and do something with that, maybe 
like uh, for my kids do some sort of ant study videos so we go out find where the ants are read up on them and we talk about them could be fun now the fun part comes I have to remember where the fuck uh, when I entered this forest because I've been walking around so focused on the ground I haven't really oriented myself so uh, I'm gonna spend some energy now see if I can figure out uh, where I am and how to get back uh, you know luckily there is a GPS on the phone but what's the fun in that uh, I'm gonna walk around a bit not worrying about if I have to film or shoot something just enjoy a bit the energy of the forest so thank you guys a lot for this uh, week's video I'm glad that some of you watched it to the end and I'll see you guys next week